Good morning everyone. In this video we will discuss about how to test packaging strength as per ISO standard. So we will discuss about different equipments which is useful for the packaging industry as per specific ISO standards. So we will consider rigid packaging industry and flexible packaging as well. So the first if I tell the most important equipment is a bursting strength tester. So the standard will be ISO 2758 or you can go with ISO 2759. So bursting strength is one of the most common tests for paper and corrugated boxes according to ISO 2758 for paper and ISO 2759 for boards the sample is clamped and pressure is applied through a rubber diaphragm until it bursts. So the main principle is on the basis of the hydraulic principle. So on the basis of which in a kg per centimeter square area you will be able to understand that how much load the sample can bear in a specific centimeter square area. So this is the purpose of a bursting strength tester. If I talk about next kind of test, this is compression strength testing, either the edge compression test or for a full box. So right now which I will be telling you is a box compression strength test which complies to ISO 12048. So for heavy packages, compression strength matters. ISO 12048 specifies the box compression test where the box is compressed between two plates until it collapses. This simulates the real stacking load. If I talk about another machine, so it will be tensile strength test and a seal strength test. Mainly I will be considering flexible packaging industry in this. So as per ISO 527, you can conduct a tensile strength test on a flexible packaging item. So why it is important if I talk about the stretching property of any film, either poly, CPP, any PP material. So we have to see that if we are uh, putting some load in the poly bags, so will it be able to sustain that much load? Will it elongate or it will get break after getting stretched? So that property will be judged in the tensile strength tester. Then the second equipment is a seal strength tester. Uh, that test is to check that if we are sealing a flexible packaging item at a fixed temperature, pressure or time. So is that parameter which we have feeded on the heat sealer, the temperature is appropriate or not. So the sealing strength should be strong for the pouches. Why sealing strength matters? If the sealing strength is not good, then pouch will open up or uh, the if it is not properly tightened the air gaps can come inside and it can make the sample spoil so that is the purpose of the seal strength test so either if i talk about tensile or seal strength it is done at a specific rate of stretching so it could be either 300 mm per minute or 500 mm per minute so the machine should be capable to adjust the speeds also so this is the purpose of the testings as per these iso standards if i talk about other equipments then we have vacuum leak testing in the flexible packaging item only one way to ensure the seal integrity is a mechanical test by a seal strength tester the another way is for the enclosed sample is the vacuum leak test as per iso 11607 part 1 or part 2 so in that it sets leak integrity criteria for medical or a vacuum sealed packs Using a vacuum leak tester, the sample is submerged and vacuum is applied to check for bubbles or loss of seal. So that this will help to understand the leakage property of the sample. Another equipment can be an edge crush tester. So for the manufacturers of paper and corrugated boxes, this equipment is important. So in the uh, corrugated sample, we have plies and flutes. It is very important to check the qualities of this also. Vertically compression test is also important and horizontal compression strength is also important. So an edge crush test helps in checking the compression strength of edges of the samples so that 
particular sample now will be made in a box form and then the whole compression has to be on the box so before that it is important to check that the, those plies and flutes are capable to be taken for making box or not so edge crush tester helps in checking that so as per iso 3037 standard this equipment is used to measure the crushing strength of edge of corrugated boxes that is crucial for stacking strength then another equipment we have is a drop tester so in the drop tester this is a final kind of testing as per iso 2248 it simulates drops during transit it evaluates structural integrity after impact from various angles. The angles can be from the edge wise way of drop or the phase wise drop we perform or the corners of boxes are intentionally dropped to a specified platform of a mild steel or a concrete and then we check that there is a dent or deformation in outside sample or the product inside. So that we simulate from different different heights. So this is the purpose of a drop tester. Then we also have vibration tester which simulates the transit trial. As per ISO 13355, it simulates vibrations during transport on trucks, ships, etc. It checks for damage for repeated motions. So it can be sinusoidal motion also. Uh, either synchronous or asynchronous to simulate that if the sample is vibrating at a certain frequency for a certain duration of time due to vibration the sample has some effects or not so that we check in a vibration tester now talking about other equipment which can be useful during the packaging or uh, during the transit is a puncture resistance test for corrugated boxes we encounter some of the uh, simulation like we are taking a sample and suddenly we have just placed it and we have placed it on a pointed object and because if any casualty happens or if it happens like uh, that a sample has suddenly fa fallen onto a pointed thing. So in that case the puncture resistance tester will simulate same kind of effect as per ISO 3036 in which we measure resistance to penetration by a pointed object which is very important to uh, as I told the, the corrugated or the board packaging. Then again if I talk for a flexible packaging it is an uh, pendulum type tear tester the Elmendorf method which says for the ISO 1974 for paper and for ISO 6383 for the films it evaluates the resistance to tearing under stress especially in films pouches and paper liners so just we make a specimen and then we place it in jaws and uh, the pendulum has certain weights and then we just try to tear it and we see that how much force of tearing the paper or the film sample has undergone to see that if sudden tear will happen how much force it will take so this is a tear strength test then apart from this we have a very important test that is cob test to check the water absorptiveness it is very important to check how much moisture the sample can hold and if not moisture how much water if I talk in terms of more excessive thing so ISO 535 checks the absorbency of paper and board which is critical for packaging in humid or wet conditions so we just make a circular sample we just pour some water for a certain duration of time and we just take first the dry weight and then after wetting it we and uh, when the uh, sample absorbs the whole moisture we check the after test weight the difference will take tell you the water absorptiveness more the value of this is the cop test more is the water absorptiveness capability of uh, any paper or corrugated sample so it is very important to have these uh, simulation in the rain kind of environment or where the moisture is very high this is the purpose of this equipment so these are some of the very important instrument for the packaging industry either rigid or flexible as per the iso standards so for more information you can contact presto thank you so much